Hey friends, it's Anne with Social Media for Churches, here to help your church have more effective social media ministry. And if you've followed me at all, you know that I always say, treat your social media platforms not like a bulletin board, but like a coffee hour. It is a place where we are building community and getting to know one another, not just a place where we are listing announcements. However, it is a place where we list announcements and it is a great place to get the word out about what we are doing in church. However, when you are sharing those announcements that need to be shared, and you know as well as I do, if you are in a church staff, you can share them 18 different ways and people will still say they haven't heard of them. So, you know you always wanna share it more than one way. And here is a great way to turn your dull, dry announcements, and I don't mean what you're doing is dull because it's not, but sometimes just lists of announcements can get, well, boring. So, rather than only post a Canva post about what's happening, turn your announcements into stories. And you do that by making videos and telling stories about whatever it is you're announcing. Here are some examples. So you might be posting something like this for your, for your upcoming potluck. So post that, but also make a video. Everybody who's been part of our church for any time at all knows how good Miss Beverly's banana pudding is and that she brings it to every monthly potluck. And while so many of our folks can put together some great food, and if you've been there, you know, everybody looks forward to Miss Beverly's banana pudding. And I happen to know she'll be bringing it this Sunday. So join us as we come together, sit down as a church community and break bread and banana pudding together. Bring a dish to share and join us. Maybe you have a mission project coming up or a regular mission commitment. Sure, post something like this but also make a video like this. You know, it was about five years ago when someone let our church know that there was a school just about a mile and a half down the road from our church <clears throat> where kids did not have warm coats in the winter. So we rallied and we got together coats. It wasn't that hard to do, but in doing so, we got to know the school and we learned that 98% of the kids live below the poverty level. So we started doing backpacks that kids could take home over the weekend with like snack foods to tide them over because there weren't the free lunches and breakfast they got at school. But then we decided that was not enough and we partnered with our local food bank and some other organizations. And now every Thursday, our church does an in-school food pantry so that parents can come and get fresh fruits and meats and other staple products so that their family can eat all weekend long. Join us on Thursdays as we help feed the families at the school down the road. You've got a special service coming up. Make a post like this, and then also make a video something like this. You may be surprised to find out that if you ask a number of the members of our church what their favorite service of the year is, they will tell you it is our Good Friday service. It is not a celebratory service by any means. It is when we remember and commemorate the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But it is a powerful, and meaningful service. And for many, many will tell you they don't feel like they can truly celebrate Easter unless they have gone through the service of Good Friday. Good Friday is this Friday. So we invite you to join us at seven o'clock for what many call the most meaningful service of the year. Maybe you have a gathering of a group at your church coming up. So you make a post like this. but also make a video like this. Did you know that the men's Bible study at our church is older than I am? That's right, it has been going on continuously. Continually, continuously, I always get that confused, but it has been going on without ceasing every month since 1952, and it is still happening today. So if you are a male identifying person and you would like to join the Bible study, it is at 6.30. That's AM, I know it's really early. I can't talk them out of it. Every third Tuesday takes place at the church. There's breakfast, there's coffee. You are welcome to join. I think you get how it works. You can see how much more effective it is to tell a story. You know, anybody who is in ministry knows the power of storytelling. So use that power and use your own gift for storytelling to tell the stories that go with the announcements you are making and with the events you are trying to bring people into. Get out there. You have a great story to tell. So make sure that you are telling it in so many different ways.
If you want more tips, hacks, and content ideas for your social media ministry, follow me here and at socialmediafortchurches.org. It's also not too late to join our 2024 Social Media for Ministry group, where you will get over 90 ideas for content every month that follow the calendar and the liturgical year. So check it out, socialmediaforchurches.org.